Jesus in you, Jesus in me, Jesus in you, so we say. Seven Corinthians 
eleven and three says, But I fear less by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30 says, Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If it's hard and heavy, it did not come from the Lord God. Isaiah 10 and 27 says, But the anointing is the yoke-destroying, burden-removing power of God. Burden-removing, yoke-destroying power of God. That is the anointing, Isaiah 10 and 27. And perhaps if you are a sinner or a lost person, a backsliding person, or someone who does not know Christ but wants to know Christ, now is your opportunity. For it is written in Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You don't have to go to hell. There is a way. John 14 and 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. He says, he is the way, the truth, and the life. So if you don't want to go to hell, just come to Christ. Just repent, confess of your sins, and do what is written in Romans 10, 9, and 10. Yes, you have the faith to do it. And I declare by the very power of God upon me that you can be saved and you shall be saved. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, and hallelujah. Easy to love. 